Hello! Fancy meeting you here. <laughs> so, I just talked about the Epic of Gilgamesh Tablet 1 for uh, 7 minutes. I hope you enjoyed that. I guess you must, otherwise you would stop watching. Uh, now I'm going to read Tablet 2. Uh, tablet 2, The Taming of Ankhdu. Here's a summary of Tablet 2 for you. I'll also summarize it at the end, but concise summary now. The prostitute takes Ankhdu to a shepherd's camp where he is instructed in the ways of men and becomes the shepherd's watchman. A passing stranger tells him how in Uruk, Gilgamesh exercises droit de, droit de seigneur. This is a French term, droit de seigneur. I have a terrible French accent. Uh, but droit de seigneur is this uh, practice I was telling you about where the king of the city gets to deflower all of the newlywed women. Um, so, a passing stranger tells Ankadu, how in Uruk, Gilgamesh exercises droit de, de, de seigneur, euphemistically tells him that Gilgamesh is raping his city uh, at the wedding ceremonies. Ankadu is very shocked by this practice, enters Uruk, and interrupts the proceedings. Good for you, Ankadu. No raping Uruk. Gilgamesh and Ankadu fight until Ankadu accepts Gilgamesh's supremacy, whereupon the pair become firm friends. <laughs> Stop raping the city! We're gonna fight about it! Bah, 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 bah. You are a valid ally and worthy competitor. So are you, a valid ally and a worthy competitor. Okay, let's be friends! That's what's gonna happen. Uh, in search of fame and glory, Gilgamesh proposes an expedition to the Forest of the Cedar, ignoring Ankhdu's water warnings of the danger. So you see, if Gilgamesh can't rape his city, he has to do some other manly thing, like go on a manly expedition to the Forest of the Cedars. They kit themselves with weapons, and Gilgamesh announces his plans to the assembly of Uruk. The elders try to dissuade him, because it's a stupid idea. You should just be your king. Don't worry about being a man. Stop raping your citizens, but don't necessarily cut down the Forest of the Cedars either, Gilgamesh. Okay. Now let's begin. Ankudu was sitting before her. A lacuna follows the opening line of Tablet 2. When the text resumes, the lines are not fully recovered. The big old Babylonian Pennsylvania tablet survives a better account, though partially overlaps. All right, so there's uh, we don't have the complete text. That was a footnote about not having a complete text. Sorry about that. Um, when the two of them were together making love, he forgot the wild where he was born. For seven days and seven nights, Ankadu was erect and coupled with Shamhat. For seven days and seven nights, that's, that's, a, that's some manly manliness. The harlot opened her mouth, saying to Ankadu, so she's a harlot and she's a high priestess. The harlot opened her mouth, saying to Ankadu, as I look at you, Ankadu, you are like a god. Why with the beasts did you wander in the wild? Come! I will lead you to Uruk, the town square, the sacred temple, the home of Anu. Ankudu, arise. Let me take you to the temple of Enana, the home of Anu, where men are engaged in labors of skill. You too, like a man, will find a place for yourself. Her words he heard, her speech found favor, the counsel of a woman struck home in his heart. She stripped and, and clothed him in part of her garments, the other part she put on herself. Oh, isn't that sweet? She takes off some of her clothes and gives them to Ankudu because he's naked, because she's civilizing him. The text of Tablet 2 resumes. By the hand she took him, like a god she led him, to the shepherd's camp, the site of the sheep pen. The band of shepherds was gathered around him, talking about him among themselves. This fellow... How like in build he is to Gilgamesh, tall in stature, proud as a battlement. For sure it's Ankadu, born in the uplands. His strength is as mighty as a rock from the sky. I love that line. Bread they set before him, ale they set before him. Ankadu ate not the bread, but looked askance. Here Tablet 2 becomes fragmentary again, and the episode is best taken from elsewhere. How to eat the bread, Ankudu knew not. How to drink ale, he had never been shown. All he had eaten was raw meat in his life, and now he's given bread and ale? What is this? The harlot opened her mouth, saying to Ankudu, Eat the bread, Ankudu, essential to life. Drink the ale, the lots of the land. Ankudu ate the bread until he was sated. 
He drank the ale of full seven goblets. His mood became free. He started to sing. He, his heart grew merry, and his face lit up. I'm gonna end this video now, because I want to show you way, the way that Ankudu looked like. So I'm gonna go get a prop and make the next video.